Let's go ahead and jump straight into a speed sketch of Furry Pac-Man with bear paws. And for some reason, he's malnourished. Don't know why that was suggested, Joe. Um, and I'll pop the music back on. I'm actually going to turn the music down just a little bit. Just because it's a little loud for me. And let's get into it. So... So Pac-Man with bear paws, anything else? Pac-Man, bear paws, malnourished. You're a twisted heck child, honestly. Couldn't have said it better myself. Okay, so we're going to want to just do this nice and easy. UV sphere. Turn 90 degrees on the Y. We're going to grab... That'll do. So we're going to go ahead and just grab all of these guys. And uh, delete. Look at that. We already got a Pac-Man. Um, oh, I forgot to delete that part. There we go. Delete. And now I can grab you and control click all the way to here. No. Control click, F. Click, control click, F. No. Uh, control click, control click, F. Done. There's Pac-Man, nice and easy. So I should be able to just rotate. What the heck is going on? Why won't he rotate correctly? What is happening? How do I rotate? What? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna reset this. Let's go 90 on here. I'm going to apply uh, rotation. And then we're now going to fix it right there on a 45 degree angle, negative 45. And let's hit apply rotation one more time. We're good, there's Pac-Man, ready to go. Okay, so what we wanna do is we want him to look malnourished. I can't believe you're making me do this. Uh, well, Pac-Man, let's start with. Pac-Man, um, his eyes are little baby Pac-Man, right? So we're going to do... Copy that. Your Pac-Man. Your Pac-Man eyes. We're going to go ahead and shrink you down. Real nice and small. I can't remember if they are forward-facing or backward-facing, so I'm just going to kind of guess that they're forward-facing. I think that looks a little bit better. Hmm, I say that. Maybe backwards is better. It looks a little weird. It looks like kind of uncanny valley. I'm gonna do that. That's cuter to me anyway. So we're gonna do a nice rounded little guy right there. And bring him back just a little bit. And push him in. Does that look weird as can be? It looks a little weird as can be for me, but that's what we get. That's all right, that's fine. Okay, now he's gonna get mirrored. Put a mirror on this guy, mirror him across Pac-Man, and we got ourselves some eyes. They're gonna be very cartoony, so I don't need to worry too much about the materialing of them. Um, and now he's hairy. I kind of want to take creative liberty on what hairy means, so I'm going to do it. I'm taking creative liberty here. I apologize to everybody. Um, too bad. You get what you get. Um, you're going to like the results, I think. So I'm going to go down the Z-axis on him. We're going to give him a mohawk. He's going to get a nice little mohawk. Just like that. Come on, 
get that little spike in there. There we go, perfect. Just like that. A skullet or bust? What is a skullet? The heck is a skullet? Okay, so now I gotta give him bear paws. And I got an idea of how I wanna do this. Um, we're gonna go ahead, like a mullet, but bald on top? No way. Hair is honestly one of the hardest things in the world to do with 3D modeling. Um, hair is just bizarro. Uh, most of the time when I follow tutorials and stuff and people are like, you gotta make some hair, they just do it from scratch. They don't, they don't like use the hair modifier, uh, which is fair. I think it's a little hard to use. Okay, so we're gonna extrude out, extrude out, extrude out, extrude out. We're going to move you just a little bit, move you just a little bit, move you just a little bit, move you just a little bit. Okay, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, and we're out. Look at that, little bear paw. If I pop up two of these in the center, nope, 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 nope. Two of these in the center, and we make them a little bit wider, and we pop them up just a little bit. That's a pretty good looking bear paw to me. We'll pop them out just a little bit, and we'll bring all of these guys in just a little bit, and we'll call it from there. These guys can come down and in just a little bit more. Hair cards. What is a hair card? Hold on, that's some that's some new tech that I haven't heard of. The heck is a hair card? Okay, so now I want to grab you, subdivision you using a two. That doesn't look too terrible kind of expecting worse. Yep, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just take these knuckles and bring them in just a little bit. And we got ourselves a nice little bear paw. That should be all right. This is a good enough bear paw for me. Honestly, I can live with this as a bear paw. Let's go ahead and pop out the thumb. Uh, it's like a plane with hair strands baked, painted, generated into it. Oh yeah, just like grass. That's how I do my grass um, in Unreal. There we go. Little bear paw. Honestly? Honestly, I'm pretty stoked about this. This looks all right to me. I'm gonna make it look a little bit more monkey-ish. I think that's gonna be kind of the answer for us. Look at that. That's a bear paw, done. Am I comfortable with this? Sure, why not? So it looks it looks a little weird. It looks a little bit like a clown, but I can live with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop him down. It looks a little weird. The more I'm looking at it, the less I like it. But we're gonna make ourselves a little sphinx here. I also think bear paws are backwards to our paws for some reason. And I did just call human hands pause. I apologize for that. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and really crank up a few of these settings. Like that. And now we'll pop these two up. Is 
that look a little bit better? That looks a little bit better, I would argue. We're going to go ahead and do that. I think I see a big problem. I think I see a big old problem. So we're going to fix this problem right here, right now. It is this guy. That, I think, will solve a lot of our Uncanny Valley things going on right now. That looks a little bit better. Yeah, that looks infinitely better. Cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make the argument that Bear Paws are actually just on the other side. I might be wrong. But we're going to go for it. So we're going to do a little bit of this. <laughs> he looks awful. He looks like such a dope. Um, <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, sure. Um, it, it always devolves to this, doesn't it? <laughs> Leave us dumps alone. Look at this guy. Look at this eldritch abomination I've made. I like love it. <laughs> this is gonna be the next emo. <laughs> he is so cool looking. I kind of wanted to make like little tubes connecting it to the body, but like, <laughs> you know what? When I'm done with this, I'm gonna show you what it looks like in my mind. I'm gonna show you what I think it looks like. Oh man, I need to, the malnourished part I still need to do. Oh, good God. Wow, I can't believe what I'm looking at. That's so good, that's so funny. I love it, I love it. I love it so much. Cool, let's go ahead and make ourselves some little claws here. Um, I'm not gonna stress the claws too much. Oh man, I've already laughed. I've like ruined my whole brain. I can't I can't focus anymore. I've laughed. That's my secret. If you make me laugh, it's done. Any anything I was working on is is ruined. Okay. I'm making the best Pac-Man. I'm like pretty stoked for everybody's Pac-Man here. I don't know who else is making it. I think it might just be the two of us, but like I'm stoked. I, this this feels so good to me. <laughs> Look how awful this looks. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. It's so funny. Okay, cool. Joe, how come you don't speed model with us? That'll be the best practice you will ever get. There we go. Yeah, boom. And now we're just doing her nails. Nice and simple. We're just doing her nails. Nothing to even worry about. I'm going to slightly offset them just a little bit so it looks a little bit more organic and we don't have the same, like, vector that we're following for each one. I'm working. You should be working on this. Should be working on this. Pop you down just a little bit. Pop you down just a little bit. And I think we are here. We'll pop it down that way just a little bit. Down just a little bit. Down just a little bit. And we'll keep the thumb regular. <laughs> Dare I say, that looks kind of good. I mean, it's silly, right? I, I, would, I would never use this for literally anything. But it's kind of good. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a way to copy modifier, but today is not the day to learn how to do that. 
I'm pretty sure you like click up in the menu up here somewhere and you apply modifier to um, like pre-existing object or other objects in selection or something like that. But I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. So we're going to call you uh, Claw1. Your Claw2. This is Claw3. This is Claw4. This is Claw5. This rhymes with Claw. It's called Pause. And that's, that's them. Oh. Oh, I like, I want like a 3D print of this. You could try to watch the VOD and model along later. That's true enough. Seymour, are you modeling this or are you doing your own thing right now? It looks, it looks like weirdly good. Nah, not today. You're good. No worries. I know how busy you are. Joe, on the other hand, I don't know about Joe, but you, I know you're busy. Okay, let's do some hair. Let's figure out how to use the program. I'll join on this fun later. You're good. We're mostly harassing you. There we go. Okay, so that's probably about as much fur as I'm gonna want on this thing. I'm not, I mean, I want to see Joe 3D model a bear for sure. But to some degree, we're just poking fun. Okay, cool. So let's make uh, some hair. So I'm going to pop on hair. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Okay, point one. Why is it only on that one? Okay, I guess what I'll do is I'm gonna apply the mirror. There we go, that'll do. We're gonna make sure that our field weights are selected and by field weights, I mean vector groups, density, group. There we go. Uh, point one is probably good, but I'm gonna do point zero seven five, and we're gonna up uh, we're going to keep it maybe like 500, but we're going to add children. Simple children. Wow, those children are going nuts. 0 0.005. 0 0 0.05. 0.1. Yeah, it's going to have to be 0 0.05. 0 0.05. Sure. That'll do. Um, I'm going to lower that and up this. And we're going to up the number of hair just a little bit like that. That is not half bad looking. Ideally, I want to mess with the shape, but I don't think I'm going to. No, let's not do that. Render. Render is path, that's fine. Hair shape. Hair shape is gonna be the big one. Hey, there you go. Perfect time, Streamlabs. Streamlabs, I gotta work on your timing. I thought I had the timing perfect, but it seems to not wanna work correctly. Also, I don't know if this is not rendering because I'm just not in the correct view. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> Let's switch this over to our correct HDRI. There we go. And we're back to here. It's a little weird looking, but I think I'm okay with it. You know what I wanna do? I wanna go to a mission and I want to lower the length down to 0 0.04. And that should do it. And we're going to do negative 0.5. That looks all right.
Yeah, I can live with this. That ain't half bad. Does it look a little bit weird? There's some floating guys. Yeah, too bad. It'll have to do. Now let's work on Pac-Man. Look at that hair. So that's my best attempt at making uh, bear paws. So now let's go ahead and put on hair on this guy. We're going to put hair. The hair is going to be one. Maybe 0.75. That should be about right. And I'm going to go to vertex groups, density group. Okay. Sure. That'll work. We'll go to children. Simple. Oh. Yo. Okay, so we actually want to tame the bottom of this a little bit more. So let's do 20 and 20. And let's go back to our weight paint. Turn off the hair real quick. And let's redraw the bottom of this guy. Now this keeps happening. Uh, by the way, why do you always type the numbers in the field manually? You know, you can just slide the fields with the mouse and you can uh, see it changes gradually. Uh, I just have very specific ideas in my mind about what I want to be doing. Just easier for me, I guess. Uh, Simo, do you know why it's doing this? Why can't I paint? Why can't I do anything to this? Oh, what? Why can't I? Oh, 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 I see, I see. Never mind. Never mind. Crisis averted. I was doing the wrong thing, as per the norm. So that's probably more along the lines of what we want. Looking pretty good, I gotta say so. We'll push it back just a little bit right there. And that is a pretty good looking Pac-Man. Now, the malnourished part I'm struggling with. To the best of my understanding, there's only one way that I can really get the idea of malnourished. I'm not doing a rib cage. I'm not doing anything like that. Um, so I'm going to try something, and we're going to see if it works. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Otherwise, I'm pretty stoked about this guy. Um, I'm going to say the hair length is probably a little long. There we go. That's, that is it. Hair shape. Let's see here. If we render it. Sure. We'll do it just like that. Tip. 0.1 is probably all right. And diameter is 1.5. That's going to be in our best interest, I think. Cool. Let's keep it just like that. That's that's him. Ready to go. Now, the hair. I think I want to give the hair a different color. I'm not sure how to do materials for hair. We'll get there in a sec, I guess. But let's start with this. Oh, actually, let's uh let's make um let's make a malnourished my Pac-Man looks really hungry. Well, that's good. You've done the challenge pretty well then. I'm gonna grab a cube. This is gonna be my best bet, I think. I can't say I'm gonna do it as well as you did. We're gonna add a subsurface to it. Of two, I'm gonna grab the tongue. We're gonna position you down just a little bit. Whoa! There we go. Now let's uh, sit and make this thing work. So we're gonna pull you down and rotate you. Just like that. And we're gonna grab the tongue and bring it down and just rotate it a little bit. 
Just like that. Perfect. You know what? Now that I'm looking at it, it definitely needs to be in the center, but now it's like super... Okay. <laughs> oh, cursed. Cursed images. Cursed images found on Twitch. Um, this is cursed. Every speed sketch is cursed. This one is extra cursed. Does that satisfy the malnourished? Because I don't know what else to do. Tell you what I want to do. I want to grab... This is my five drawing today. Oh, wait, six. Good. That's the grind. That's what it takes. I'm happy to, uh, I'm happy to give you more inspiration to draw. He looks pretty, like, jiving. So I'm going to go ahead and put on a UV sphere... He's just about to eat. He's just about to get his food. He's so hungry. My hand is dead. We'll take a break. I guess you're going to bed after this, right? You better be. Okay, so let's do this thing. Uh, Pac-Man is yellow. I gotta make the hair a different color. I'm not sure how to do that yet. We're gonna get there in just a second. Uh, Pac-Man is yellow. He is full roughness. He actually has subsurface, which is weird to think about, but he does have a little bit of subsurface. The hair did not know what to think about that. I am and I'm done, I think. All right, I'll be done soon. No sheen, none of that. He's just perfectly Perfectly colored. Full roughness on the eyes. No specular, no sheen, no clear coat, no subsurface. The tongue. The tongue is going to be this rancid bluish color. And I'm going to add some bumpy boys to it. Let's make ourselves a vector bump. Just like that. And the bump is going to be a Musgrave with a color ramp. We're going to go ahead and plug that into there, that into there. And what I'm going to do is up the scale. Everything else is probably good to go. And we're going to go black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white. Just like this. There we go. That's his gross little tongue. The strength is going to be like 0.3. It's kind of just a little, little texture thing right there. Okay, now bear paws. I'm questioning whether the bear paws should be Pac-Man material, because I think they should be. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the judgment and say that they are. Uh, claws. Claws are going to be shiny, a little bit transmissive, light pink. Looks about right to me. Maybe a little bit darker. That'll do. No sheen, no clear coat, specular, sure. There he is. Okay, what do I got? I got five minutes? Oh gosh. I thought I was doing good on time. It always kind of sneaks up on you, doesn't it? Uh, Simo, uh, if I can ask you for assistance. Um, do you know how to change the color of hair? Because that's the only thing I need, is the color of the hair. There we go. Little power pellet. The power pellets are yellow, right? 
We'll do just like that. The tongue, I'm looking at the tongue. I think I want the tongue darker. That ain't half bad. I think this looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm excited to see it as well, CQDK. Uh, if, you, if you're done, feel free to post it. Oh, you you go like a completely different route. Okay, well, let me see if I can't figure it out real quick. We're gonna go over time probably by me doing this, but this is a learning lesson, so I'm definitely gonna take the opportunity to do it. Render coordinates, materials. Oh, there we go, material. Aha, easy, super easy. Okay, so let's do slot number two. This is gonna be called Mohawk. And this is, going to be, this is going to be slot two. It's going to be called bear. Okay, so you are mohawk and you are bear. There we go. That was super easy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make you a nice brown bear color. That works for me. It's going to be rough. High specular, high sheen, high tint, no clear coat. Everything else looks golden. Use a hair BSDF. It looks more like hair. Okay. I kind of want to get in the habit of using things that I can export. Can you export the hair B uh, BSDF? Does it work that way? Uh, sure, we'll just go for that. I'm not going to think too much about it. Excuse me. And now the Mohawk, we're going to give it the hair BSDF, but this one is going to be a little crazier. You can't export the hair anyway. Very good to know. That is super good to know. I am never going to do hair ever. Done. Okay, can you post it for me? I would love to see it. Okay, and we're gonna go real simple, real cool on this thing. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna post up a texture gradient radial. That should look good. And then we're gonna post up a object coordinate. Okay, so it should go black to white. We'll go red to blue as always and make sure we can see it. Okay. Now I'm going to go to HSV. We're gonna go far and I'm gonna grab red and red. And there's our crazy, crazy little Pac-Man. Oh, the radio is not the direction I want it to be. My bad. Let me fix that. We wanna rotate it like that, I think, is good. So that part's fine. There he is. Yeah, CQDK, you've been killing it lately. Streamlabs does not know when to quit today. Uh, so, yeah, that's my guy. There he is. Honestly, I have zero minutes left. Let me do one thing. Um, I'm gonna go like this. And we're gonna make you this blue color. Blue, blue. You're gonna be a little bit on the purple side, a little bit on the dark purple side, and you're gonna be a little bit on the dark blue side almost like royal blue. And now I wanna take that and B-spline it and make you way more blue. We're good, there he is. Okay, so this is one of the crazier ones I've ever done. Uh, so I will go ahead and render this after stream. Uh, this will be a post stream render. I'm actually pretty proud of him. That's pretty good. 
Yeah, time's up. We're done. So, we're good. I love him. He's he's a gross, disgusting thing. Where's that Junimo render at? Uh, it's an art appreciation. I have him on fire. So, uh, let's go ahead and pull up the Discord real quick. That was pretty nice. Yeah, it in a game would be pretty terrifying. I would hate to interact with this thing. But uh, as far as like a little guy, yeah, he looks good. All right, let's take a look at some stuff. Let's see, let's see who did it. I should make a separate speed sketch category, shouldn't I? Probably should. All right, let's see it. My Discord's taking forever to load because uh, Windows is doing its weird update stuff. Um, I have a thousand messages from a, a bunch of different people, so thank you all for that. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, wow. I hate the ribs. That is so scary. I love the color. We got the colors exact. The bear paws are literally perfect. Literally, absolutely perfect. Um, he looks great. You got the eyes so good. This is a th this is a thousand right here. This you're batting a thousand with this one. So yeah, that's been streamed today. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hop off, feed myself. I'm a little hungry, and uh, I will be back tomorrow to um, make something. I don't remember what I'm doing. So with that, I say peace. Thanks for joining me. Shout out to CQDK for the awesome sketch. And uh, thank you all for the company. Peace.